<laughs> this looks like apocalypse and we are apocalypse I could wait a thousand days you never wait for me you never wait for me even when I ran away you're all that I could see you're all that I could see when I trench below haven't i suffered enough to let you go it's about 4 a.m right now and i'm going to throng la pass today it's about 5,416 meters and i'm currently at 4,800 meters and this is one of the oldest as well as highest passes i believe here in the himalayas I feel good. It's snowing quite a bit outside, and so hopefully it stops because I would like for the weather to be clear for the day I had breakfast. As you can see, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna get going. There's quite a bit of people that's doing the pass today, all staying in the same hotel that I'm staying at. And so I kinda wanna get there first just to avoid the crowd, but yeah, it's gonna be a good one today. You already know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you guys at the pass. All right, first hour in. It's snowing so much. I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon. But it's been like this. The entire hour or so. The sun was supposed to rise at this time and it's just completely overcast and it's just coming down really really hard now and the snow is definitely sticking. So that's all. Just wanted to give a quick update but this is the views so far. There's any, it's just completely overcast and it's snowing really hard and it's sticking, that's for sure. I don't think the snow is gonna stop. It's been two hours on the trail and it's, it's not gonna stop snowing. Trying to stay warm, it's a bit chilly for sure. And also, I'm wearing runners, I'm doing a trek in the Himalayas, you know? So, so far so good. I hope, well not I hope, I was told that there's only three hours, well it only takes three hours to get up there. And it's, I'm on the second hour and Not gonna lie, you really hope there's one hour left because the weather is not that nice today. Compared to Larque, Larque was very beautiful. Here it's, it's snowy and it's snowing. I hope I'm making sense right now. I'm just trying to focus on the trail. at five it's now 7 15 so I just did it in about two hours and 15 minutes 5416 meters and there's a lot of people here at the moment even taking horses there's quite a bit of people here I'm not gonna stay here for long because it's really cold I'm just gonna take a bunch of photos and videos and that's it so overall Man, what a pass. Out of the trench below. Haven't I suffered enough to let you go? I feel all that you I had you gone. I'm right through all that you I feel 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 all
I met Anshel on the trail here. And Jessica I met a couple of days ago. I don't I, I don't know exactly where we met. I don't remember. Yakarka. Yes, Yakarka. We met at Yakarka. But I just met the two on the trail and Anshel has been kind enough to let me trail behind him because he's been paving the way because clearly you guys know me I don't really wear hiking shoes so and it's snowing quite a bit up here and so he's been paving the way making sure I don't slip a little bit of slipping and sliding but back down safely with these shoes no crampons whatsoever just running shoes Nike running shoes Nike if you're watching this sponsor your boy because he just pretty much trekked through the Himalayas with a pair of Nike running shoes I don't know if that's a something I should be proud of to be honest it's it's fairly it's not safe because I was slipping and sliding a couple of times on the way down. Nonetheless, I made it and I believe right in front of me is Muktanath. Your boy is wrong. According to the sign, that, that over there is actually Chionkar and Muktanath is over this way. So I gotta hang a left and not go that way. So, sorry guys, it's my first time here, you know? I can't be right every damn time, so. But, shout out to the sign, thank you. Otherwise, I would've went that way because I have no clue where I'm going at the moment. Just got to my place. Well, place for the evening. Got the key. We're at 3.06. Oh man, I'm winded. Let's go check it out. 3.05. Oh, the other way. It smells fresh. This hotel smells new. Okay. Let's catch my breath here. Guys, I know to you this may look basic, but to me, this is luxury. Definitely be, definitely be sleeping here. We've got a view of a, of a hill and a little bit of a mountain. And then my camera gear always gets the other bed, you know? I treat my gear like how you would treat your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. Boom. Oh, I'm gonna get settled in. I'm gonna have some lunch and then just relax. Maybe roam around town. There's a lot of shops. Apparently, I don't know why I'm like this. Okay. Apparently, this is the place to buy souvenirs and all that stuff because Muktinath. The products here are made actually here from Nepal, whereas other places like Pokhara or Kathmandu, I've been told that they're made in China. I have no idea if that's true or not, but nonetheless, I am in a shopping mood. I forgot to show one more thing. I got my own private washroom with a shower and a Western toilet. I don't know why I feel the need to show you my washroom at all times. I think it's just because I've been living up in the mountains for weeks now and that that's that's awesome to me. And of course, I got the outlets right there. Mm. Just amazing. After I got settled in, I went around town to do some souvenir shopping. Then I had dinner and called it a night. I didn't get a chance to close up the vlog, so I'll just do it right now. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to see more of my adventures, and I'll see you on the next video.